Well, we're exactly one week away from the official start of hurricane season. And as we have learned here at home, it doesn't take a name storm to cause heavy flooding. Here's Channel 5's Monica Deanda on how One Valley City has been prepping through the pandemic. Last night, thunder and lightning was seen across the valley. Some residents in Star County even rescued from their homes. As hurricane season approaches, the city of Mission, like other cities, is facing a different challenge this year. For the past two years, the valley has been hit with record level flooding. The storms not categorized as hurricanes, but the city of Mission always prepares for that possibility. This year is going to be challenging. James Cardosa is the emergency management coordinator for the city of Mission. He says hurricane prep usually begins in early March, but once the global pandemic hit, planning got a little tougher. We rely on uh, the sheltering process, which is a big thing. Uh, and with the social distancing, the number of people that we have a capacity for our shelters really diminishes. Cardosa says current social distancing restrictions would only allow 125 people into a shelter that could normally hold 500. But his team is working around these road bumps. Last week we had a conference call with uh, the American Red Cross, which assists us in most of our communities with the sheltering operations, uh, our food bank, the National Weather Service, our school district, which provides our transportation uh, should we need to evacuate. The planning continues through hurricane season with a close eye on the National Weather Service in Brownsville to minimize the potential impact on citizens just in case. And Cardosa encourages the community to start planning too by visiting ready.gov. They provide a checklist for adults and they even have a checklist for kids to get their stuff ready. So uh, in that checklist, it provides you with food, water, clothing, medicine. It kind of prepares you a little bit of the batteries, your all weather radio, your flashlight, uh, and it kind of gets you a mindset ready to go. Cardosa says every year they host a hurricane workshop with surrounding partners, but this year, in order to keep everyone safe, they're switching to an online platform, and once that's set, they'll let the community know so they can listen in on the preparations. In Westlaco, Monica de Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.